Well, hello, hello. Can you believe Christmas is now behind us? It is December 28th, and my name is Colleen Magnus, and today you are gonna be creating with Colleen. I love to teach the art of rubber stamping, and I promise I'll teach you what to do. I might teach you what not to do, but I promise to teach you something. So for most people, Christmas is over. Um, basically, we're still celebrating. Uh, you just never know when you have a bigger family, things that are gonna go on. So Friday, we were going to celebrate with both my sons and all their kids um, because Zoe and Lucas were going to be with their father over the um, holidays. Well, Zoe started running a fever. So Daniel's family didn't come, but Tyler's family did. Then on Christmas Eve, uh, we went ahead and celebrated with my brothers and sisters. My brother is in from Iowa. His daughter, Alyssa, came in from Florida. It was awesome. We got to meet her wonderful boyfriend, Michael. Just a great time. So that was Christmas Eve, and then Christmas morning, Danny and I celebrated, and then I went and visited a couple friends, went back to my mother's for a full-blown turkey dinner, and now since we didn't celebrate with Daniel's family, we are now doing that Friday, God willing. Um, so it is just a Christmas that keeps giving. But I hope all of you have had a great Christmas, and um, I took some time off, and it was wonderful. So I'm a little rusty today, uh, but... I'm going to share some cards with you that we have coming up. Celebration is going to start January 5th, and we have some awesome products that you can earn for free. So remember, celebration this year is only going to be one time a year, and it's only going to be January and February. So that's when you get your free product for every $50 you spend or $100 that you spend. And we have um, joining specials, which is amazing. You will be able to pick out $175 in product and only pay $99. Or you can pick out $175 in product and select the mini emboss machine or the new boho color mini emboss machine and only pay $129. We will talk more about that later. But today I want to start showing you some of the product um, that you, you can earn for free. And my favorite has been the Dainty Flowers 12 by 12 designer series paper. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Because sadly, I hope most of you have received your catalogs. Um, if not, let me know. we got to get you the new mini catalog and celebration so you can hit the um, ground running on January 5th. So until they go live, I cannot show you the inside, but I can show you the cover and I can show you some products. And that's what we're going to do today. So again, I'm Colleen Magnus on the east coast of Chesapeake, a Stampin' Up! independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator sharing what I love with you. So I've seen some people popping on. Um, let me see. It's so hard to see on my computer. I've got Sherry. Hey, Sherry and Mary Craig is here. Cheryl's here. Hello, Barb, Kay, Bonita. Oh, you guys are great. Sandy, thank you so much for joining today. Miss Gwen, I love it when you were in the stamp room with me. And so without further ado, we're going to get started. I'm going to boot up my computer, turn you down, so hold around. I still haven't found the best way to do that yet, but I think you're going to like what you see today. So hold on. Turn that down. All righty. Let me get my camera straight first. Oh, Moose is watching too. Thank you, Moose. I wonder if Carl Kay's, um, Kay's husband's watching. He's, he's one of my guy watcher too, so I love it. Absolutely love it. You know, I um, I have stamped with men before, and I got to tell you, ladies, they're pretty creative. You might not have thought so, but they are. They think differently, which, let's face it, we knew that. Um, but they see things differently than we do, and it was fun creating with them. So, hey, Miss Sharon, you're just in time. Okay, so as I said, celebration is going to get started, and um, hey, Miss Julie. It's going to get started on January 5th. So this is the little mini catalog, lots of goodies in here. You can select for free when you make a purchase. And then this will be our new mini catalog. Oh, Carl is listening. He knows it's Wednesday. Hey, Joanne. Yes, it is chilly in upstate New York. We have a beautiful day in here in Virginia. I think we're going to get in the 50s and rumor has it we'll hit 70 degrees by Saturday. That's Virginia. So what I'm going to show you today are some new products. The paper that I'm going to share, you can earn free. And Stampin' Up! always has the best designer paper. 
I know I'm partial, but I just think it is. And this is called Dainty Flowers. So with the Dainty Flowers, um, the colors that go with this are Blushing Bride, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Rich Razzleberry, and Starry Sky. So you have some beautiful colors here. I don't know if I should have pulled my camera down a little more or not. Oh, I'll tell you what I should do though. Hold on one second. Let me turn my lights on. That might help. Let's see what I got here. Again, you give me a week off. I pretty much just have to be retrained. I hope that made things a little bit brighter. Let's see how we are there. Okay. Now I had to put my computer for, further away so hopefully I can still see. So it's a beautiful floral print. And then of course, just gorgeous on the other side. So there's six sheets, two of each. But there are two sheets in here that especially near and dear to my heart and i'll show them to you so these are the colors these two here these sheets are awesome and stampin up has done this before we have it like this so you can get six cards out of here by cutting it down the middle and then do four 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 it's going to give you six cards and then a sheet like this which i absolutely love because you have these strips of flowers in the middle and you have these beautiful oval framed flowers. So, oh, let me show you the other side too. Cool sides on the back also. I just got carried away with these. So as I'm going into the new year, as always, I try to better my best and change some things that I think need changes in my life. And one of them is that I just need to send more cards. I am great at making cards. I love making cards with you, but I don't get as many cards in the mail as I would like. Thankfully, I always tell people I can open up, I can send a prayer up immediately, so I'm good with my praying, um, but I need to send more cards. And I think part of the problem is I love special folds. I love, you know, a detailed card. I've been a demonstrator for 21 years. Simple is hard, but what the Lord is laying on my heart is sweet, simple send and that's kind of what i want to focus on a sweet card that was simple to make and then send it get it in the mail because they touch lives so much more frequently when they actually receive the card than just making the card so that's my goal for 2023 so what i'm sharing with you today is i've i'm taking these two sheets i'm doing one card that's very simple then I'm gonna step it up. Because you know I have to, at least just a little bit. But that's my goal is to show you that today. Now I normally have dimensions. I did not take pictures of dimensions because it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight cards I'm gonna show you today that I'm actually making in front of you. I couldn't see making it, showing you a sample and then doing it. So we're just walking through, but I will give you the dimensions as we go. And they are pretty self forward dimensions. And that's why I also said, I teach you what to do, I teach you what not to do, um, because they're not put together. So we're gonna see if these uh, cards work together right here with each other. Now the stamp set that I'm using, this is from the mini catalog, and this is called Dainty Delight. And it really is a beautiful set. Gorgeous flowers, which coordinate and look just like the designer series paper, and then some beautiful sayings that are in there. And then, you have this amazing 16 piece die cut set that goes with the flowers. So the flowers are cut out. You can make a beautiful wreath with this piece. And <clears throat> I have a card I'll show you next week that showcases this stamp set. <clears throat> so this will work out really good. Um, and I will have the dies cut so you can see them in real time, the way it matches up with the set and also what all the little standalone pieces do. But these two items were made to go with each other. The Dainty to Light stamp set bundle and the designer series paper. So let's get started. Okay, this first sheet that I told you about, if you take this sheet here and cut it down the middle and then cut it in four inch sections, you're gonna get six cards. 
So you'll have to cut it down to five and a quarter, but I just recommend cutting it in the middle first, and then you can decide, are you gonna take your six inches to five and a quarter inches? Um, are you gonna take it off the top or off the bottom? And it just depends on if you want more at the top or the bottom. So for example, with that piece, let me see, so this was the card, I mean, this was the designer paper, coming across, cut it in four inches, boom, there's three cards right there. And then just decide if you want it three quarters inch off the bottom or the top. So the first card, in the sake of keeping it simple, I'm gonna also, I hope you don't hear me snacking on it, I'm gonna put a cough drop in my mouth because I, I had a tickle earlier and I don't want it to come back. So I just took this piece and I cut it to four by five and a quarter. This is a piece of rich raspberry, which is four and a quarter by 11, half a sheet of an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, scored it at um, five and a half. And then sometimes I will cut this just slightly smaller so I have a little more of a border on the inside. So this, where's my ruler? I don't wanna tell you different, I'm gonna be throwing lots of numbers around. This is three and three quarters by five. And I have this just because that is too dark to write on. So for this card, sweet and simple. And I'm literally just going to put this on the front. Can I just say gorgeous? You see how hard that was? And then for the inside, I can stamp whatever I want. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna keep it real simple. I will take, since I have the flowers, I will take this from the Dainty Delight stamp set. I'm just going to take some Memento, Memento Black, stamp it down on the bottom, like that. And then I will go back in. I couldn't believe I wanted to use my um, blender pens. You know, the actual ones with the clear glycerin on the inside so I can pick up from my ink pad and I didn't have any. It's been a while because I'm always using my blends. So I can color this later, but with this card here, I'm not gonna put a sentiment in it yet because I don't know what I want this to be. This card is simple. It's beautiful, I'll color that, but it can be a birthday card, it can be a sympathy card, it can be pretty much anything I want it to be. So I think it's good to have cards that are completely blank on the inside so you have a card when you need it. Okay, so how sweet and simple was that? Very, very sweet and simple. Now to step it up, I'm gonna take the other piece and I'm combining my colors. So this is Fresh Freesia with Rich Raspberry. And you can see it's very, very beautiful together, beautiful colors. Um, that's what I love about Stampin' Up! is that they put the colors together for me because I feel I am color challenged. So I took the same one and I just went, just, yeah, about, it's still four by five and a quarter. This piece, I want just a small dark edge around it, nothing big. So this would be like four and an eighth by five and three eighths, just an eighth inch smaller. And if you want a larger border on there, you can trim them five and a half, four and a quarter, five by four, you know, just step them down by three quarter inches. But sometimes I like just a smaller border so it doesn't take away from my designer paper. So I have this here. I'm gonna step it up a little so you can see all your options. This goes on your Fresh Freesia. So you see it's a little bit, little bit different. I don't have to put anything on the inside because my Fresh Freesia is light enough that I can write my sentiment. But if I do want to put something on here, and you'll have to help me to know where to put it, I'm going to take the saying in there that says, thank you for your kindness. 
So I'm gonna take my Rich Razzleberry. And again, this is a brand new stamp set. We're doing this new together. So whenever I do have a new set, I like to ink it up. Then I like to take it and drag it on my paper. Sometimes, um, even though this is thin, when they produce the stamps, you get like a light film on there. So I just wanna make sure that that film is off and I've got a nice rubber image so that I can stamp just fine. So I'm gonna take, thank you for your kindness. Ooh, that's pretty. And I know I have people who don't like to fussy cut, but let me tell you, don't sweat it. It's very relaxing and just go with the flow. So I'm just gonna come in here. You do need a nice sharp pair of paper snips so. though. Um, Stampin' Up! really does have the best small scissors to cut with. But see how I'm not really, one, I'm like turning the paper also when I do this. I think that helps you go around your images. But I really am not sweating this. No, they don't have a die for it. I'm sorry. But we have scissors, which is how we functioned before. So here I just have, thank you for your kindness. And I can put it, that's where I was debating. Do I put it down here? Do I put it up here? What do y'all think? I know there's a small delay. The first three answers get a shout out. So I can put it on the top or I can put it probably down here. I don't want to hide my words too much. So while y'all give a shout out, um, let me see, come on. Oh, I wish y'all were right here. The bottom. Ellen says the bottom. Stephanie says the bottom. Okay, bottom it is. So I'm just going to take my little mini dimensionals. Pop them on here. Thanks, Gales. That's kind of what I was thinking, but you know, I like a little confirmation also. So I'll just take my little mini dots and pull this out. Gwen likes the bottom too. It's unanimous. Okay. So now that I have that, I am going to put it off to the side just a little bit so I can see these beautiful starry sky flowers. And that's my stepped up version. So you have the basic, which is great the way it is. You have it stepped up and with your words on the front. And then what I can do here, if I want, I could take a little bit of that Wink of Stella. You know how you love Wink of Stella? And I love this one because I broke open a brand new pen and it's awesome. So keep in mind, you might not see this on the screen as much, but in person, it's beautiful. It dries immediately and it's just gonna put a little bit of a glittery look on my flowers. Okay, so that, if you could see it, that is the middle version. So now I'm gonna take one more time because when I cut across, I did get three. And I'm gonna take it, this I kinda saw, and again, I haven't done this, so we'll see how it goes. Um, it was really kinda cool. It's the sample in the catalog. And I believe what they did was take our blending brushes and soften it up with some green. So I am going to take my green large brush and y'all will be excited to know that in the new mini catalog, they have smaller brushes now. This is gonna be great because sometimes the larger brushes are just too much. This will help you really get it into those tight spaces. So I'm so glad we came out with that size. And then, you know, with this, I normally have a brush for kind of each color group, my greens, my blues, my yellows. You can mix those different colors together, but you want to keep it in that color family. And then we have a, um, this is Norwex. Um, I don't even know who to get that from. It was a gift, but anybody, you know, you can get these in the store and just a microfiber cloth. And when you clean these, you just drag, drag it on there and it pulls that ink right out. 
So let's take some old olive, see what we get. So I'm gonna dab it off a little bit and come in here and I'm sure my screen will be shaking. And see how it's kind of softening it up already? It's, I love the background, the white that they have on here because it looks textured, even though it's not. I'll kind of bring this up. And you can see how it's softening that. And I think when you blend, you want to be patient because if you put it right in your ink and then you slap it down, you're going to get a textured look and you don't want that. So what you're going to do here, tap it on here and I always start light, start very light and then you can apply pressure so you don't get the texture of the bristles. So let me just come up on the side a little bit. And that is going to give you a whole nother look. And you can do this with any designer paper. That's the beauty of it. So now that I have this, you can see the difference. Ooh, I'm shaky. You can see the difference in it. But I am just going to, again, go back to my simplicity. I will take this. All my card bases, by the way, um, they are either going to be five and a half by eight and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. Or, where's my other one? Just had it, right here. Or if you cut it the other way, it's going to be, um, oh my goodness, couldn't think for a minute. Four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. So that, it's just half of a sheet of eight and a half by 11. But for this, Little gummy. I just put it on my card. And again, simple, simple. So if I want, I can just leave this. Um, I'm going to try to get brave and stamp up at the top, though. So here, no pressure, right? Because if I mess this up, I don't get a second. Well, I take that back. I was going to say I don't get a second chance. But you know what? I really do because I could always just cut the words out and put it over it and you'll never even know what was there. So hey Miss Fran, I'm glad you could join us. We are exploring some new products. So here, I'll write the best is yet to come. Drag that off a little bit. Make sure I get a good image. And actually, I don't know that I want to use black. Let me get my cleaning pad. I don't think I might come in with that. Either the Starry Sky or the Rich Raspberry. I think I'm going to try the Starry Sky because I have those beautiful blue flowers down here. The best is yet to come. It's also not a bad idea to stamp on a scrap piece the very first time you do to make sure you're straight. Sometimes your labels are on there and they're not as great as you would like them to be. All right, a little bit of pressure. Ah. Awesome. Okay, so here, I don't know if y'all are timing me, but very simple, easy cards, but it's because my paper is doing the work, which is so nice. And then, of course, this piece here five by three and three quarters. I'll decorate that later for my inside. So this is what three cards that you could make with this piece of designer paper. So you would actually get 12 of these cards because um, you get three and three of six and you get two sheets. So you could go ahead and have 12 very beautiful, simple, easy cards and you got your paper free by simply placing a minimum $50 order. So next, let me see what I've got next to me next. Next, I wanted to play with this sheet. Now this sheet, you have these beautiful ovals. So again, you could do 12 cards with the ovals. And then I loved these little pieces on the, in the middle. So what I did, I carefully 
took my cutter and just cut like that. So I had these two out and then you can cut that into your four inch sections. So what I'll do here, very simple. Let me clean my stand because I'm going to put it on here. And y'all, this is a chamois. It looks terrible. I feel like I should get another one, but when it keeps working, why? You simply rinse it out. It cleans so much better than our old cleaning pads because it holds the ink. So what I'm going to do here is um, I have... Thank you, Gwen. She says she loves them all. Four and a quarter by 11, score it five and a half. This piece is basic white, which is really four inches by five and a quarter. And then I just trimmed this close. So basically, of course, this is gonna be five and a quarter and uh, it's slightly over two inches. I just like free cut it and just make sure I got close to each side without cutting it off. So with this, sometimes I like to use my liquid glue because I can move it around for just a little bit. I'm gonna take this piece, put it on my side. Sometimes it's good to look on both sides, make sure you've got it nice and even. And then once you do, push it down. So here I have this. I will take, let's try some rich raspberry. And again, the best is yet to come. Um, may we always believe that. I have a lot of friends who've had a very tough year. Um, you know, whether it's been illness, loss of a loved one, and I just hope they have the faith to believe that the best is yet to come. So I'm just gonna put this on here. But I love the font that is in this stamp set. Go ahead and turn it over. And here we go. Very, very simple. Okay, so that would drive me nuts. I'm slightly Okay, y'all, I don't even think that there's a measurement for this because it's so small, but there. <laughs> Woo, I feel better now. I just had to trim that up. So very simple. The best is yet to come. You know, and again, for me, it's really hard. Um, very, very hard to do simple, but simple is good. So Mary just asked if any of the dies cut the designer paper. Excellent question, Mary. I don't think so. I'm looking, I don't think so, because this is random. This is all pretty random. This one, um, let me look at my stamp set. I was thinking this one might be close, but it's not. And then we have that. And that, so I, I will play more, but my guess that's 99.9% .9 is that um, it is not. Um, so let me go ahead and keep moving. So we have the best is yet to come, I have right here. Now going further, I'm gonna take this card. I'm gonna get fancy on it. So I have um, this here, going to do the same thing that I did before. And let me put this on there. Oh, thank you, Lisa. My friend Lisa, my sideline stamper, um, she makes the best Brunswick stew. And I asked her to make it for an event we're going to do together. And she said, oh, I just made it for my mom for Christmas. We're over it, but I have some left. So God bless her. She brought me a bowl of Brunswick stool. And when I leave here, I'm going it up to where she works and pick it up. <laughs> Love you, Miss Lisa. You the best. So here, I put this on here. And then I thought, let me try something totally different. 
A lot of times I have taken designer paper and I really like um, when you texturize it, when you get a folder and emboss it. So I am actually going to use, you need something kind of intricate. This is my go-to folder, the Time Worn Type folder. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put it in here. And of course, I love how Stampin' Up! puts that line in there now. So I will put this in and I have the designer paper on here. No worries. Then let me stand up. I'm gonna take my machine, get my glue out of the way. I'm gonna use the um, Big Shot platform. I'm gonna put this down and then I'm using the 3D embossing plate, the gray plate. I'm right-handed, let me put it this way. And you just wanna always make sure you are straight going into the machine. So when I put it out on the other side, See what we get. Again, this is all trial and error. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Lisa loves me too. We go way back, 20 some, 21 years back in stamping. Um, but now, I don't know if you can see that, I have this beautiful texture that is in my card. So I can't really stamp on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that one millionth of a strip off. I don't even think anything cut, but I feel better. I'm gonna take this and I am gonna mount this on crushed curry, which is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Again, a smaller edge. And then I will put this here. And I like that the crushed curry doesn't overpower it, but it pulls out the flowers right there. And then on here. Okay. So I have this compared to this, but of course I want some words on the front and I cannot stamp on that. If I did want to stamp first, I could and then emboss. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the double oval punch, which I have right here. And I love this punch because you have your words for the center and then you have this scallop oval to back it on. So I'm just gonna cut this out of the mossy meadow, which is what my card base is. And then I am gonna stamp sending love during this season of growth. So we definitely, you know, it's some really nice sayings in here. So I think I'm going to do Rich Razzleberry again. So send in love during the season of growth. And what I love about the punches is you stamp it first and then you line it up. Hey, Miss Bren. How are you doing? She just popped in. So it's two. It's too thick to go down there, no worries. I will just cut a little bit of this off because I just grabbed a scrap piece. And now I will be able to get this in here much better. So I can just line it up and I will put this on my oval. So my hands are shaky today. I think it's because I actually had my normal breakfast, which is, um, my normal breakfast is, um, oh my goodness, raisin bran, crunchy raisin bran, and I crumble up some walnuts on it and put lots of blueberries. But the last couple days, my breakfast has been orange blossom cookies, uh, spinach dip with crackers, some crab dip, and this Christmas trash that Sandy Alexander who watches makes. So I think my body's just having a hard time getting back to real life. But boy, have I enjoyed the holiday. And as I said, it's not over yet, so. Oh no, Bren's husband woke up with COVID. I will keep him in my prayers, Bren. 
I hope his symptoms are mild and he will be over it soon. So here I could put it at the top or I could put it in the middle now or I could put it at the bottom. So first two answers at the top or the bottom. The top here or the bottom here. Cheryl says I can blame Kevin. I can't blame Kevin. He's my baby brother. <laughs> Actually, if there was anybody I could blame, it would be Kevin. So, um, what can we say, Cheryl? None of us have been eating good, but I really think that's what the New Year is for. So I've got a top. Oh, to the breakfast. <laughs> yeah. I could blame him. Well, actually, no, I can't really blame him because I do it every year. Honestly, I do it every year, so that's my bad. I have a top, a bottom, and a top. So we're going to go with the top. And I do like it up there. So here, very simple. I took the card from here to here. Now I only have two of these, but it shows you how you can just keep it sweet and simple to send. Or you can step it up just a little bit. Sandy says the Christmas mix is addictive, but it is fun uh, indulgent breakfast once a year. It is. I only do it at Christmas time. And anything you drizzle white chocolate on is amazing, especially when it's pretzels and Cheerios, Chex Mix, nuts, and M&Ms. That's your recipe. So here's two more cards that we have. And I'm going to follow it up with two more. And it'll be um, two more of using the ovals. So the first one for the oval is I have fresh freesia, five and a half by eight and a half, score at four and a quarter. Um, oh, Fran does it, but doesn't put M&Ms in it. Oh, Fran, you have to put the M&Ms in it. That's what makes it. All the kids fight over the M&Ms. And here I just trimmed this down to, uh, I've got three and a half, just slightly over three and a half and four and three quarters because I wanted um, a little bit of a border. And this is um, four by five and a quarter. So take this gorgeous oval Tape it onto your border. This has a little bit thicker border, but I figured it could because I wanted to pull the colors out the rich raspberry in there. And my fresh freesia card base. Oh my, am I running out? No, here we go. And I will put this on the front. And again, these two colors, rich raspberry and fresh freesia are great together. Now I should have stamped in the middle first, but since I did not, always stamp flat. <clears throat> if you had this shut and you were trying to stamp, you could see where your, your stamp would smear. So you don't want to do that. So do it flat. Again, it's a new stamp. I think I want to use the Starry Sky. Thank you, Fran. She said it. The Christmas trash is breakfast because after all, it does have cereal. Yes, it does have two types of cereal. I love your way of thinking. So here we have Celebrate You. Again, give it a little drag. And I wanted to see if I did mount this straight. So let me, okay. Let me give you a tip. I did mount it straight, praise the Lord. Um, but when you have mixed fonts, so for example, here, you have your, um, let me get my comments in here, okay. You have the word you, which is typed out, straight out, and then celebrate, which is all really pretty, it's a script. Look at the word you when you are lining it up because that's what you're gonna notice is crooked if you get it crooked. You want the you to be straight and the celebrate can just wisp right around it. So. Ahead of myself, I closed my ink up. So here I'm just gonna do celebrate you. 
I have my do straight. I'm very simple in the center. Celebrate you. So that could be a graduation, a birthday, a promotion at work, whatever you would like. And then I'm going to step it up just a little bit. I'm actually going to turn the oval this way. I think it would, would work just fine. Now I've pre-cut this, this oval and I used the deckled rectangle dies. I didn't think I needed them, but again, I was wrong. I've seen a lot of masking done with these and I didn't think it would make a difference, but it really does. It almost reminds me, especially when you see it like this, like a homemade paper, you know, it was made by hand because you have the beautiful flowers, the texture, and then that beautiful rough edge, but it wasn't like you tore it. It was, it's just done perfect. So what I'm gonna do here is I will take this. Oh, let me give you a measurement. Well, let me put it to you this way. It's the second to the largest one. So you have eight frames, deckled edges, that all layer onto each other. This was the second largest. So I'm going to take this and put it on my piece of Starry Sky. And the Starry Sky is five by three and three quarters. I think I want my flowers on this side. Ah. Oh, decisions, decisions. Hmm, maybe this way. I don't know, we'll see. I don't think there's gonna be a wrong way. Now, originally I was gonna put it on this piece of Blushing Bride, and I could, and that would be beautiful, that would be simple. I think it goes good with the starry sky. But I cut this slightly smaller, so your card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Let me get that a good score for once. And then this was just slightly smaller. So this was um, about five and three eighths. No, actually one, two, three, four, five, sixteenth, because I wanted it a little bit smaller. And then four and a sixteenth. All right, I wasn't supposed to break out the sixteenths on you, but it still works. So again, I'm going with my go-to folder. I'm going to put this in here. So line it up on that line. Go back to my die cutting machine. Oops. Got my Big Shot platform. My folder, 3D folding plate, uh, 3D folder plate, which is plate number four. Take that through. And this, you're not gonna see a lot, but I think sometimes I think it's just the little details. So with this, I'm just gonna put this onto the card base. Again, just slightly smaller than the front. And I am using the Tombow liquid glue. I do believe that my stamp and seal would hold it. But anytime I do something textured, I like to bring in the liquid glue because it gets in the nooks and crannies and it's very, very strong. Okay, and I can move it. So here, I don't know if you could see that. I've, you know, a lot of times people layer the same color on the same color, and I really do like it. It adds that little bit. So for this, I think I can either put it flat, but I don't want to. I'm going to pop it up with the larger dimensionals. And y'all do know, every bit of this is usable. Never throw out anything you can use. So you can just come in here and just cut the edges, pick them out, and just use it. When you're done, all you're throwing away is a piece of glossy paper. So I will peel these off, throw them on the floor, because it's my floor. And that's how I gauge how productive I've been. So I think I decided, all right, I'm going this way. I popped that up so it gives it some dimension. 
And there again, let me clean my stamp. I know a lot of kind people. So I can say thank you for your kindness. And I'm gonna edge this, we're gonna try that. So I have thank you for your kindness. Once again, I'm gonna cut just a little bit, not quite as close as last time. So you kind of just come around and then when you get on a straightaway, just go straight like that. Come on back in here, curve around, but I do think it's easier a lot of times to move your paper when you're cutting than trying to always move your scissors. Come in there a little bit. Okay. So then I'll come around. So I have this, I got a little closer than I wanted there, but oh well. You'll get the gist of it. So I can, got a couple options here. I can take this, I can tape it in the middle. It's too flat, don't like that. I could pop it up and that does fine too, but I can um, also put some color around the edge. Now typically, I think I would try to sponge it, but I think it just overpowers it. I just think it's a little much. So what I'm gonna do is I have a Rich Razzleberry marker, and these are the Stampin' Right markers. So just like our blends, you've got a fine tip on one end. I've had these forever, best markers ever made. And then the fat line is my broad end. So instead of trying to um, come in there with the sponge, you don't see this at first. It's very, very subtle. But I'm just coming around my edge. And I think when you're gonna see it is when I lay it back down on the white. So I've got my finger here kind of to hold, hold these hands, but I'm just going around this edge. And then when I lay it down, I'll see if I need to do it anywhere else. So coming around the corner. And then there we go. So now when I put it down, I'll put my lid on. When I put it down, I'll put it flat so you can see it. See how now there is an edge around it? You see that? But it's very light. Again, I think if I was to try and sponge this, it just, it would look like a hot mess. So I just wanted something really light to go around the edge. I'm going to get right in that center. Here we go. And then I'm just going to take my mini dimensionals and pop it up. Look much like I did the other one. Here we go. And there's so many, I could use as many as I want. And then I will pop this up in the middle. Oh, good. Gwen loves the trick with the edge of the tip. Yeah, it just, I've tried sponging before, Gwen, and sometimes it just gets too much into my words, and I want my words to be the focal point. I don't want the sponging. Oh, let me get it straight. I've got to look at it in front of me. Okay. And there you have your stepped-up version, plus one is vertical and one is horizontal. So out of those two sheets of designer paper, you're going to make a ton of sweet, simple cards that you can send right away. And I hope, again, that's my motto for 2023, sweet, simple send. Now, I won't lie to you. That doesn't mean uh, you won't be seeing my special folds or umpteen layers because I love those too. But just out of this paper, you can see what you can get. So here's the version of those two. Then we have, if you remember, the best is yet to come. Hey, honey, I'll be down in a minute. Those two, my honey just got home. Woohoo! And then, of course, this right here. So lots and lots of options. So I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Don't forget, 
Um, celebration is right around the corner. January 5th. Um, oh, wait. I forgot something. There's more. Ah! I forgot all about embellishing these. Okay, y'all can't leave yet. This, These are the brushed brass butterflies. They are in the annual catalog. Don't forget they are in there because they are, you know, they're absolutely perfect for this. Um, they come in two sizes, the small and the large. <clears throat> so I can just pick up one of my butterflies, put one there, and then a small one. Small one maybe over here. I'll do one more small one. They tell you work in threes. So here... You have your butterflies. I'm going to sit here and add these to the cards. But another thing that is really cool, in the new mini catalog on page 19, we have dragonfly trinkets. I love me some dragonflies. So with this, I will take my um, mini glue dots, pick up a dragonfly, Oh, you gotta hit the glue dot on the dragonfly, hold on. There we go, much better. There we go. And then I can even just put my little dragonfly in the middle there. So once we're off the camera, I will add my butterflies and dragonflies. So that is your class today. Again, celebration starts on January 5th. Please know um, all supplies are only while supplies last. So yes, I expect them to be there in the beginning, but don't wait till the middle of February or the end of February to get your designer paper. We will also have the new catalog. This is no longer for six months. This will just run from January through April, which is wonderful because then it'll give us time to focus on the new annual catalog when it comes out. So happy stamping, y'all. I hope you do something creative, I'm still going to enjoy the holidays for a few more days. Um, my brother does not leave till tomorrow. God bless him, he was supposed to leave today. But what a nightmare, can I just say that? His daughter had four cancellations before she finally got out. And Kevin was able to get out tomorrow, but his $300 ticket now cost him $850. So some things really need to be regulated, y'all, but we're not going there. So thank you so much for creating with me today. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful, um, let me put them up there, Christmas, and that you will be off to a great new year. Love you all, and I will see you next Wednesday at noon as I share more on the Dainty Delight stamp set. Got a really fun card to show you with that and show you how easy it is to stamp these flowers. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful day and do something creative. And if you need to order anything, just go to creatingwithcolleen.com and you can also request my newsletter there. Thanks for watching, Cheryl. We're going to get your boy home soon. I know Kevin's ready to come home and see you. Take care. Bye-bye.